In 2020, due to the COVID pandemic, many resettlement activities came to a halt. In early 2021, these activities started to resume. The International Organization for Migration, IOM, is dedicated to promoting humane and orderly migration for the benefit of all. It does so by providing services and advice to resettlement countries such as Canada and migrants. In late April 2021, IOM set off to refugee resettlements in Chaka in Western Uganda to assist families throughout their resettlement process to Canada. The team is going to the resettlement to meet with refugees who have been convoked for a resettlement interview with Canada. The resettlement process will start here, at the settlement. We meet two candidates, a family of 10 and a young man. Yeah, Santi. Somebody? Uh, uh, the purpose of our meeting is to inform you that you're scheduled for Canada interviews wow. and health assessment. Jumbo, hmm. you are scheduled for Canada interview selection and health assessment. IOM is going to facilitate your movement from camp to uh, our transit centre. That's why you're going to be accommodated for two nights. Then uh, that will be on 28th. So from 28th on 29th, we will move you from the transit centre to our head office in Naguru, where you're going to do your interviews from. Then on 30th, is when you're going to do health assessment, that is medical check. Then uh, again, we'll facilitate your movement to Kampala. So during your stay and accommodation, it is IOM Transit Center. Uh, prepare yourselves and carry all the ne necessary documents for the interviews. With the candidates excited about their trip to the city, they settle in for the night. Everyone's excited and ready to set off to Kampala, but we're still in the midst of a pandemic, so safety first. COVID SOPs are carried out and the team can now leave. Yeah, I'm so desiring and anxious at the same time. So I'm just, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's what is going to be happening there, but I'm so excited to, to reach there. And we don't know, after maybe the interview and the Czech medical, we shall maybe travel soon to Canada. Uh, I was informed that I'm traveling to the city for Canadian migration interviews, whereby I'll meet officials from Canada who will go through my application for settlement. Uh, after that, I go for medical checkup and whereby they will check uh, my body and for all my family members to find out if, if we are fit to travel to Canada for settlement. I feel very, very excited because for the years I've spent in the camp, I've just been in Kampala once. My children never been in Kampala. So it's a golden chance, a very, very good opportunity for us to travel to Kampala.
The Chaka 2 group finally arrives at IOM Kampala Transit Center and there is still a process to go through before settling in. Hello, welcome. Can, can we have the car comes inside, please? When you're coming out of the car, our first procedure will be to wash our hands. And uh, we shall have a brief security check. I hope you had a very nice trip to this place. You're welcome to IM Transit Center. Uh, my name is Nancy and I'm a nurse here. So at our transit center, uh, your health and my health are very important. And given the current situation of COVID, we want to ensure that everybody is healthy, starting with me, myself, and you. Today, as you arrive, we are going to screen you to ensure that you are safe. So this place, as, we, as they have told you, are going to show you around, but I'm going to talk about uh, mainly about hand washing. Uh, hand washing has been proven to one, be one of the most important things about prevention of most preventable diseases, including the COVID that we are talking about, we are battling uh, with it now. We have heard of cholera, it is also about uh, prevention, washing hands. We have heard of cholera, we have heard of typhoid, dysentery. So hand washing is one of the most important things that we emphasize here. Then the second thing is about putting on our masks. We have talked about putting on a mask. The mask should cover the nose and mouth. All together? Yes. Welcome uh, to IOM uh, Kampala Transit Center. Uh, very soon my colleagues are going to brief you about the procedures and the activities you are going to go through during the two, three days you are going to be with us. And here, although we are going to be here temporarily, but feel, feel hope. If you have a specific need as individual, make sure that you report to our colleagues and they will make sure that they provide you the necessary assistance based on the type of assistance they are providing to you here. I'm here to let you know about our procedures here. The refugees are provided with three meals a day, are lodged in a dorm-like area, and have access to clean water. We'll notice that uh, we have uh, water sinks. With me here, you can see bucket, buckets, uh, color-coded. They're provided with a hygiene kit that includes a bucket, soap, sandals, toothpaste, toothbrush, Vaseline, and sanitary napkins. All requirements like that will help you keep uh, hygienically clean while you're staying at the transit center. The next thing is about uh, your purpose of being here. You'll be doing interviews for Canada. However, you will not be doing the interviews from this facility. We are going to do them from our different office in Naburu. Then after the interviews, uh, the IOM vehicle will bring you back to the transit center. That is on Thursday. Then on Friday, you'll be doing health assessment. So health assessment will also be done on Friday. And then Saturday is the day you'll be returning to Chaka. Clarice, you'll be staying on this side. You can pick a bed. We have two beds on the other side. Due to COVID-19, we do not fill the whole room. So please pick from those two beds and these two beds, you pick one bed. As you can see on our beds, we have markings. Due to COVID-19, the upper bed is not occupied. It's the lower bed. It is D-Day. Today, the interviews will be carried out. Nervous but excited, the candidates have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Some of them have been at the Chaka 2 settlement for years. They are ready.
Due to COVID, Canadian migration officers are not permitted to travel to Uganda. Therefore, all interviews must be done remotely using video conferencing platforms. Migration officers ask questions to determine whether or not they meet the requirements of Canada's resettlement program, including gathering of information about their background that will help with their settlement and integration process. They also explain the loan system in place to cover the cost of medical examinations and their transportation to Canada. Um, what's going to happen next then is that um, everybody uh, who's in the room now, each of you will sign um, what's called a, uh, a loan form. So what that means is that when we're able to book travel, uh, which I'll explain the timeline for that, um, what happens is the government of Canada pays for flights for refugees to go to Canada. And then after you settled in, after a year, we ask little by little that you repay the cost of those flights to Canada. No. Once the interview is finished, IOM assists with the signing of forms. go through the vaccination records. The last step of this process will be the health assessment. This will be the candidate's last day in Kampala before leaving for Chaka 2 settlement tomorrow. Refugees with communicable diseases like tuberculosis are treated before they depart for Canada and serious medical conditions will be flagged to the settlement services in Canada so that they can assist refugees in obtaining the required care once they arrive in Canada. On arrival, they will come to us, they introduce to us, they introduce to themselves to us, as we also introduce ourselves to them. Then they, they oriented us uh, about everything. Every activity on the time, time of meals, where to take shower from, the toilets, the bedrooms, everything was clear. And my, my experience in this journey so far showed me how much OEM know how to take care of their people. Because everything has been put in place as you move to them and walk from one door to the other, there's a sanitizer, you have to put on mask and it's necessary, it's required. The key messages were about um, social distancing first. We are briefed about COVID-19 as the most focused point. Then cleanliness around the transit center and how to cooperate with the other, our fellow refugees with phones in the bedrooms. It's been a busy past couple of days, but a lot has been done. It's time to head back to the Chaka 2 settlement. The candidates with the help of the IOM team have done their best, and it's now time to wait to hear back from the Canadian government. They say their goodbyes and they're off to Chenjojo.